Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can use color ID maps to quickly mask out different areas from your high poly to low poly mesh bakes instead of painstakingly brushing on where you would like your mask areas to be. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky, especially with like stuff like this rope that I've got here. It's literally a 12 sided cylinder. So to mask out these areas would take a long time by hand, but color ID maps make this dead quick and I'll show you how to do it. So first of all, if I go back into Blender, you can see that I've got my high poly rope here and my low poly rope here, which is literally a 12 sided cylinder. So that's why we're going to bake our high poly to low poly. But if we did this, as you can look in substance painting, this would be our result. And then if we wanted to add a new fill layer, say a red color, for example, it covered the whole thing. And if we added a black mask, we'd have to paint on where we would like just our red to be. It'd take quite a long time to get it neat. And uh, yeah, it'd just be a pain in the ass. And that's what I used to do, to be fair. Don't know why I never used color ID maps, but there we are. What we can do instead is if we have our black mask, we can right click and add color selection and we can pick from a range of colors that we've already preset in Blender. So now if I click this blue, it'll paint all the blue sections red. So all you've got to do is in your high poly mesh, make sure each different segment you want has already got a material set to it. It can be any color you like, it doesn't really matter because it's literally just what you're going to eye drop in Substance Painter. So say, for example, you start off with this. I'm going to press L and select the, this segment, create a new material, uh, pick any color you want and assign it. Now, when you export, if you just exported this, you'd have two, a color ID map of two different ones. You'd have blue and red and you'd be able to click, you'd be able to mask out the red sections from the blue sections. If you look when you're back in Substance Painter, when you're baking, you have this ID section when, on your bake and you can choose material color. And then if we, if we bake that, just that map alone, we can see what it looks like in here. And this is, this is exactly what it looks like. So I've given these, you know, this part of the high poly blue and then light blue, then green, green. It doesn't really matter. You can use any, you could use pink, orange, yellow, blue, whatever. It doesn't really matter because all you're doing back in your normal mode, you are selecting a new layer, give, give it whatever you want. So you have blue color, add a black mask and then right click and add color selection. And we can pick one of the colors that we've set already in Blender on our export. And now it'll color all those in that. It'll mask out that exact section. Of course, you could do the same thing with folders. Uh, just add in black, black masks, add a color selection, pick the color you want. And then in that folder, you can make new layers and add in whatever kind of material you want and it'll only affect that segment. You're basically masking out what you've set in your Blender export of your high poly already. I've been using the same thing for myself for foliage maps because if you look at the wireframe, it is literally just a plane. So you'd have to paint the exact segments of where it is um, to mask it out. But again, you could just use, this is my ID map. I've just assigned each different flower or segment, different color. And then in, again, adding a color section and just choosing the color that you want. So this one, we could ch change it and pick the yellow bit and it would change it over there. And that's it. I find it extremely useful when I'm painting and when I'm masking out. And I hope you guys do too. And I hope it helps somebody out there. Thanks so much for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, please click the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It really helps. And I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers, guys.